Okay, so as you probably already know, I usually review RC cars and drones. But as I live on the island of Malta and we have nothing but water around us, we thought we'd take a look at an RC boat. This one was recommended to me. Um, it goes to 50 kilometers an hour, which in the water is actually quite fast. Now, it's not really intended for the sea, but around Malta on very quiet days, the, the sea is very flat. So I don't think we'll have any problems running this whatsoever. Now, if you're already into RC boats, you know more than me already, okay? So I'm learning on this journey with you as well. We'll take a look at the boat, we'll take a look at what's in the box, and then I'll explain to you that I've already made a mistake and nearly ruined my battery. Let me show you what happened. So, Colin and myself were taking a look at the boat. We desperately wanted to hear what it was like. So, let me just make sure that this is in shot. Took this off. Put batteries into the controller. Took this one off. This, all four of these have to be um, tightened up because this is what where the waterproof section will be. I plugged the battery in, turned everything on, and we ran it. Only for about, what, 30 seconds. And then if you see, I had all of these blue marks here, and I'm like, oh, what's going on here? And then I see the bottom of the battery, and look, I didn't know that the motor spun. <laughs> the outside of the motor spun, I thought obviously the inside of the motor spun, and I stupidly let it rest there. Do not do that, you will ruin your battery. Luckily I stopped it just in time and there is no problems with this battery. It's actually a 3S battery, which is very good. 11.1 volts, 2200 milliamp hours. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, this is the internals, but before we get to that, I'll just show you what else was in the books. Bog standard controller, you've got steering trim left and right. I for some reason I had some idea that it would be the trim on the rear of the boat that I do know a little bit about but that's on full size boats but you know it, it is what it is I, I hope that it's got quite a long distance on it but we'll find it out if it goes shooting out to sea and doesn't return we know that uh, it didn't uh, safety instructions they'll go to one side and we will have a quick look at the instructions it is actually quite detailed on this so if you're a newbie with boats like myself you may be worth you having a good look at this outlet plug okay yes because the motor is water cooled I knew that um, I, I wanted to start the video off with this is what I know about boats look how long it is and that's it because that's truly how much I know about RC boats but there's going to be some similarities steering servo etc etc uh, I don't think that's correct water press pieces I assume that's the trim that I was talking about earlier that the way that you can use the back um, panels here to um, what's the word plane the boat out to make sure it's running as flat as possible so let me just quickly run through the instructions somebody may lose them at some point so we'll just quickly do this like so uh, to move forward to move backwards to move left and to move right. Now obviously at some point I'm going to have to take this apart to see how it all works, but I won't be doing that on today's video. Today's video is about an introduction to this boat and then getting it to the water as soon as possible because it's roasting in Malta and Colin and myself want to go swimming. So we thought we'd get some nice cool shots of this boat actually in action and hopefully underwater shots as well, seeing it blast over the top of us. So what do we know about what is in here? So we have Motor. We have, is that called a spindle? Spindle, spindle, spindle tube. Knew that. That obviously leads all the way out to the propeller here. As you can tell, you've got the battery and hold of their servo. And this is where the receiver, and I assume that is a pump system. You've got the receiver, you've got the speed controller, and it looks like that's where the water is pumped in and out. So obviously we shouldn't have been running it without it being in the water. So where is the inlet? Sure. Oh, okay. Probably here. And it's full of water.
probably here. I will verify that. Um, so it's important that you run it in water, do not do what we did. Let's take a look at the rear. Obviously, not everybody's going to be running these on the sea. You can run it in a lake, a pond, anywhere really. But going at 50 kilometers an hour, it is going to shift a bit. So steering, you've got the rudder here. These are just, these do not move whatsoever. It did say something about left steering and right steering. Uh, left navigation and right navigation, but I believe that these are just for stability. And again, this thing, I think, as you can see with the screws, you can, if I turn it on its side a bit, you can see that you can angle that down or up, but it's set far away at the minute, so I assume that you don't need to adjust that if you do not wish to do so. As I said a moment ago, you do have to make sure that this is completely sealed. I want to plug it in again, but I'm not going to run it. I promise, because that would just be stupid to do all of that again and make a, a mistake again. That's what I was looking for. So, controller on. Where's he on? There we go. And... So, now... You will see the steering. You can actually see in here the servo as well. Exactly what it says on the tin. Don't tell anyone. That's it, I'm not doing it any more than that. And obviously make sure that your battery is strapped into the place that it is designated for it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, now I'm going to read out a few um, of the details that were on it because I don't want to get anything wrong. Please forgive me. Again, I know nothing about boats so it's better that I read them out rather than um, just guessing. The colour is grey. At 50 kilometres an hour, I've already said that. It's got a 3554A motor in it which is in fact brushless so that will aid in its uh, speed. A using time of about five to seven minutes, but I have heard it can go a lot longer than that, depending on whether you're going full uh, full speed or not. Um, transmitter, it says about 120 to 150 meters, but it, we're not going to be going that far out to sea, are we? Let's be honest. Um, the length of the boat is 63 centimeters, 117 wide and 110 high. Uh, box size, you don't really need to know. Everything I've already showed you except for... The stands came in this bag, and then there's just a few tools here that we're going to have to figure out uh, what they do at a later date. That's obviously for the propeller nut. I'm actually looking forward to this. Uh, it's been a while um, before we've got anything different on the channel, so this is just the uh, 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 charger, which goes like a sir. And as it's a three cell, it's actually designed for a three cell battery. Very cool. Shame that that does not come with a, an adapter, but I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna be using my balance charger on this. So rather than just waffle, even further than what I already have, because I know nothing about boats, I think it'd be best just to get it to the water. I was gonna fill up a paddling pool and <laughs> just to show you going forward and back, but that serves absolutely no purpose. We've got this beautiful uh, sea outside, so I think it's best to get it to the water now. Let's see what this thing can do. It's not a game. It's a red
That's fast though, isn't it? I know, Tess. Go. I think I'll be more in the middle this time. Go! Hello you beautiful peeps, welcome back to the Blue Mat. Uh, apologies for how I look right now, yes. It has just been a blistering hot day today. It's now coming up to 7.30 at night and it's still something like 37 degrees inside 32 and we've had the aircon on the whole day but whenever you walk out of the room without the aircon you get hit with this humidity. Um, okay, you've just seen the footage. Did we look like we were having fun? Because it's completely different recording a boat obviously to an RC car. There's a few more things you have to take into consideration, drowning being one of them, but what a lot of fun we had. We were obviously a little bit concerned about the people swimming around there, which, uh, you know, we just had to be very careful, that's why we didn't open it up properly, and there were a few waves. It's not 
ideal for the sea, I'll be honest with you. It's much better for a pond or a lake. But what a lot of fun we had. Now, I've just been editing the video and I noticed that I was a little bit too cryptic with the damage. So I'm gonna show you on this video and then show you the repair on the next video. What happened was, let me get the battery out. In shipping, this has come out of its holder and it went and knocked a pipe off, which I did not notice when, sorry, excuse me. Uh, I did not notice when I was doing the unboxing. I said on the video that I was gonna make sure that the inlet was fine, and I didn't. That's my fault, stupid person. So what had happened was, if I show you on here, see down here, see that pipe there? That had snapped, actually snapped off. And it, I was correct, it is the inlet uh, for the cooling system. Water's dragged in there, dragged around here, into the pump, down here, uh, into the uh, cooling system for the bearing and then to the outlet here. This had snapped off because the battery had hit it. So we went to test it, did a little bit of slow-mo and noticed it was sinking. Um, so obviously that footage I will show you on the next video. Um, it's got nothing to do with the performance of the bow or the way it's made. So that's why I haven't included that footage here because it's not, you know, I should have checked, let's be honest. Um, the boat performed very, very well indeed. See, there's a little bit of water in there, but that could have been when I was taking or disconnecting the battery. Um, it's very fast, I have to say. Maybe a little bit too fast, I don't know. If it's a flat lake, I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. Now, can I recommend this boat? This is a little bit more difficult for me, because when it comes to RC cars, I, I've got a lot more knowledge. When it comes to boats, this is the first one. Now, enjoyment level. That was high. We had a lot of fun with it, but would we, would we have had a lot of fun with a 50 euro boat? Probably not. They wouldn't go as fast, would they? Um, I believe today this is 150 US dollars, but you're getting a lot for your money. You've got the 3S battery straight out of uh, you know the box, which is absolutely fantastic. Brushless system. I've got to be honest with you, yes, I do think it is worth it, especially if you're going to be able to use it quite frequently. I wouldn't use it swimming in a sort of in a swimming area like what we were doing. I think that was a, um, not the most ideal, but we don't have lakes here. We don't have ponds here. The biggest thing we've got is a fountain in Valletta and you could go round and round in circles and that's about it. So can I recommend this to you? Yes, I can. We did have a lot of fun. I have to be honest with you. It's, you know, it just brings you a big smile. Obviously it was a little bit more different because I was swimming, you know, alongside it, diving underneath it, trying to avoid being chopped up by the propeller. But, you know, that's all part and parcel of these boats, isn't it? It did turn over a couple of times. Now, if you're just out for, you know, having some RC fun and you sort of take it into a lake and it flips upside down, well then you're gonna have to go and get that. So keep that in mind. I know for sure there are some boats that have got a self-writing system. That's something that I'll be looking at for the next boat. And yes, I am going to get a second one. It was very enjoyable, so uh, keep that in mind in the future. If, you, you know, if you're looking at getting a boat, maybe the one with the self-writing system could be better for you. If it's a sort of a lake that's not very deep, you know, that shouldn't be a problem. But it goes so fast that I can't say to you it probably won't tip over. It did for us, so it could for you. But of course, the sea is a more volatile place. The waves are going up and down, so that's probably what was causing the instability. If it was sort of uh, mirror flat, I don't think you have a problem with it whatsoever because, you know, it was just driving. Yeah, I have to call it driving uh, really, really well. So if you're interested in buying it, the link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the footage. It's, uh, as I said, it was a bit weird uh, recording for uh, an RC boat rather than a car, but I hope you uh, liked the video and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time. Stay safe. Bye-bye.